Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can supercharge an Astro blog by powering your comment system with GitHub. By the end of this video, any visitor can leave a comment as long as they're signed into a GitHub account. Before we get started, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. The growth of the channel is expanding quickly, but the subscriber count isn't following the amount of views I'm getting. So if you see a red button, click it and let's get started and learn how to add comments to an Astro blog. So to begin with, let's start with an Astro blog. So we can do npm init Astro and give it a name and hit enter. Then once the package asks us what we want, we're going to select blog and now we're good to go. So now we can go to CD blog. And before we do that, I'm going to install the renderer for Svelte because we're going to use Svelte for this project. So we're going to do npm install astro.js slash renderer Svelte. And if you're using uh, React, uh, it's just renderer dash React. And in theory, everything is going to be exactly the same. You just have to tailor it slightly for your preferred UI framework. So once that's installed, I'll meet you in VS Code where we can talk about what we need to do now. So now we're in our newly configured blog. We're going to change this from renderer preact to renderer svelte because we're not going to be using preact, we're going to be using svelte. So now we've changed this to renderer svelte. We need to do npm install to make sure all the packages are installed. And then we can do npm run dev and launch our blog. Once we've launched our blog, we'll make sure that it works correctly, and then we can talk about how we can introduce comments to our blog. So here is our example blog. Perfect way to get started with Astro, and requires zero to minimal setup, and it's extremely fast, and they give you a introductory Astro blog post. So at the bottom of here, I want to be able to add comments and allow people to have a discussion. So we can use something called utterances, which is super useful and is completely open source, has no tracking and is lightweight, uses just JavaScript and it's really great. So the first thing you need to do is make a public repo that will allow your readers to essentially make issues that are actually comments about a blog post. The way that that works is just go ahead and do that and then make sure you install the utterances app, which you can find here and make sure it's configured for your repositories. Now you have that, you can select the kind of blog post you want. I use the issue title contains the path page name. And so that's what I'm using for mine. And then you can give it an optional label if you want and then select a theme. I use dark mode because it's just easier on the eyes. And then all you need is this script that comes down here. And when you enter in your repository name, that's where it will be entered. So let's go back to our code and start implementing Svelte to allow us to actually use utterances with Astro. So we're back in our blog here and I'm gonna create a new file called comments.svelte. And this is going to be our Svelte that's gonna handle it. So we're gonna have a script here and that script is going to be used to handle the utterance script and then outside of that we're going to have a div it's going to have an id and we're going to set that to utterances so it's u-u-t-e-r-a-n-c-e -E. and then we'll close that div out then inside of our script here is where we're going to do the work so we're going to import on mount and that's going to come from svelte and this is similar to on mount in other languages if you're not quite as familiar with Svelte. Then we're going to do on mount and then a set of parentheses and an arrow and then our braces. So what we can do now is essentially recreate that script that was provided by utterance but using some Svelte style and some regular JavaScript to make it all work. So we're going to do const 
s equal to document create element and we'll call this element script and then underneath that we'll get the tag so we'll say document dot get element by id and the id that we're going to get is this one right here so we can just copy and paste what we need so now we have that now we can set some attributes so you can just do s so we're going to set it on this script and say set attribute and then repo and the repo name so my example repo name will be perkins jr slash james perkins dev comments and then s dot set attribute and we're going to set issue term so issue dash term and this is the path name and then we need to give it a label so we can just copy and paste s attribute because we're going to use it a few times we're going to say label and we can just say comma comments and you can set that to whatever you want and then we need to set the theme so we'll set the theme here to github dark mode but you can set that however you wish there's even an option to set it just to the user preferences so if they're on light mode it will be light and if they're on dark mode it will be dark then we're going to set an attribute here for cross origin and we'll set that to anonymous and then we'll set the source so set source equal to https u t t e r a n c dot e s slash client dot j s and then we can just set that in some single quotes and then we just need to do tag dot parent node insert before s comma tag and then we can hit save so essentially what's happening here is we're saying on mount go ahead and create this script for utterance set these attributes so the repo will be this the issue term will be the path name labels we'll just set to comment we'll set a theme we'll set the chorus origin to anonymous then we'll set the source to this client tag which is from utterance and then we'll add this insert before this tag so before that s comma tag so essentially we're adding this script to this div so now we have that now we can use this wherever we feel like so if we go to blog post you can see that we have this main and slot well we can use this on our page to essentially insert that in so we can do import and then comments from dot slash comments dot svelte and that'll tell it that that's what we want to use and we're not using an astro tag and then we can come down here and go into the main and do comments and then we need to do something special here because it's astro we need to tell it when we actually want to load this script do we want to load it when the client loads do we want to load it when the client is in view how do we want to do this so we want to do client load so you can do that by doing client colon load and then close out the tag so essentially we're saying here is hey we want these clients on client load and if we hit save now if we go back to our blog post what we should see now at the bottom is comments enabled and as you can see at the bottom of the page we now have this option to sign in with github so if i click sign in with github it will sign me in it has my picture and i can leave a comment like awesome this works and hit comment and then that will save to my repository and people will be able to interact. So if we click comment now, 
we see it here and then if somebody else adds in they can add in reactions like thumbs up or you know rocket ship whatever you need and now we have a fully working comment section that our users can enjoy so if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop it a like comment on more things you want to see in the jamstack and until next time see ya